Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to talk about seasonality. Basically, what does the seasonality suggest for pre-election years on NASDAQ for the rest of this year? And as you can see on the screen, looks super bullish. Before we get into that, if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. So if you trade that, you'll want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. And if you're not profitable yet, then I think you will be over time. It just takes lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned. And uh, over time, you'll make less and less mistakes and find a profitable strategy that you can follow. So without further ado, let's look at the chart here. I'm going to go over the trade I'm in. I'm, I'm currently in a short on NASDAQ, swing short, and I'm also going to go over the seasonality. So basically, seasonality for pre-election years suggests it's usually a really bullish year. And there's basically a low that occurs at the beginning of August. Uh, there's a high that occurs in the middle of July. So high, middle of July, low beginning of August and then another high in the middle of September selling off and then there's a low at the end of October and that's actually usually a low that undercuts the recent lows over here chopping around in November but then near the end of November we just kind of go straight up from end of November into the end of December and make new highs on the year. So this is basically what the seasonality suggests. It's, it's suggested that we would be extremely strong for the first half uh, from January into the middle of July, pretty much just straight up. And then it suggests that it gets a lot more choppy from the middle of July into November, a lot of sideways action, but then from about November on, it's back up again to new highs. On the Friday, I added to my short in the 15,700s and it brought my average short to 15,650. And uh, now I'm gonna put the stop above the high we made on Friday and TP, first TP is gonna be the support to the left down at about uh, 15,250. This is the first TP. Second TP will be the swing low at about 15,000. So we'll see if we get down there, but I'll be basically taking partials off at about uh, 15,250. Uh, and then I'll readjust from there, but it's about 400 points of profit and it's almost a two to one risk reward ratio. So that's currently the short I'm in on NASDAQ, as you can see, Still technically no reason to be shorting right now because if you look from left to right, we're going vertical only up. But again, uh, I've combined seasonality with, with the VIX and the dollar. Uh, the DXY did actually bottom and I was looking at that. I said that I would look for us at the alert here at 99.6. So that's why I added to the short because we swept it and then pushed back up. I'm looking to see if this was a bottom when we start pushing back up. Typically, if this is a bottom, we start pushing back up. There's a lot of pressure on the NASDAQ. So data looks good there, but obviously this is still bearish. Uh, you know, we, we must expect that we're going to continue to trend low. There's no reason to expect that we're going to target the 103s as a high. So bearish dollar means bullish equities. Hence why the short, I'm not looking for a ton of points on the NASDAQ. I'm not looking for a huge crash. I'm just looking for a 2 to 3% pullback in the NASDAQ. I have been forming this bottom in the VIX. So if we can push back up in the VIX, then we can have more pressure in the NASDAQ. I'm just expecting VIX maybe push up to the 15, 16, and then basically crush back down. And you know, as the VIX goes down, market goes up. As the VIX goes up, market tends to go down. This is also the seasonality for ES. ES again, uh, looking for a, a bottom in about early August. So expecting us to get down to about you know the support to the left here at 4450, 4450 before cycling back up. So again, extremely bullish. Basically just based here, broke out, little pullback, broke out again, broke out one more time. Now probably come back down to support 4450 before cycling back up and then eventually targeting 4600 at some point, you know, mid September. Everything's looking really bullish. No reason to be short right now, but I'm expecting to pull back in the next two weeks. We have earnings coming out in the next three weeks into the early August portion. So maybe earnings expectations are a little too high now and people start missing earnings and then we kind of just correct back down. But just come down to support here to the left on ES and then support down here to the left on NASDAQ before we start cycling back up and heading towards uh, 16,000 on the NASDAQ. So nothing nothing to be bearish about here. Let me know how, in the comments down below how your trading week went. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. And look out for the next video coming out Wednesday night and I'll see you in the next video.